Residents of Ekiti State have lamented the current economic hardship in the country as they called on the federal government to use the gains of removed subsidies to repair the nation's refineries. Speaking with our correspondent, a public affairs analyst, Ayo Arugundade, and other residents said Nigeria's refineries need urgent attention to cushion the effect of increased pump price of petrol. We are hearing now that uh, the allocation for this month is in trillion. Let us monitor our governors. How will they spend it to make sure that the fuel prices will not keep on increasing? That amount of money that has been accrued as a profit should have been used to develop our refineries. Why can't we develop the Kaduna refinery, the Wari refinery, the Portacot refinery? How much will it take? We can't go on like this. I still want to appeal to Ashwa Jubala Men Tinubu, who came on a campaign that he has prepared to become president. Once he has prepared, he should be prepared for this. Time is going. No, you say change we should endure, we should endure. But they are not laying good example. Let the endurance start from the National Assembly. Let them be collecting part-time allowances. Don't let them collect homogous amount of money. Don't let them purchase additional cars. If they want to sacrifice, let it start from them. Surely we all know that uh, the price of uh, fuel is the determinant factor for other commodities in the, in the market. So I will advise government to strictly, I mean, look into fuel uh, uh, issues in this uh, country because people are going to a lot and they are absorbing it. Uh, they, they want to see the, the best of this government. So I would rather advise government to, to involve experts so that we can get the best in this country. Today, we have seen a government who came into power within five minutes and has removed subsidy without even making any pronouncement to Nigerians, without even respecting the sensibility of Nigerians. He has just made, he has just made that pronouncement without making any, any effort to say, well, for this, we are going to provide this as cushion. We are going to provide this as palliative. So it's very unfortunate. So as a businessman, well, we are here, we are Nigerians, and we are, our business, our business, our business growth, business life, dependent on, on some of these things that they have, they have mentioned. And we're here, so we'll, we'll begin to see the outcome of it. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.